Hello, and welcome to episode 13, season 3 of my Let's Play modded Minecraft. I am KHM, and I just put a level 30 enchantment on my new Goggles of Revealing and got Projectile Protection 4. Yeah. I mean, it's admittedly not one of the worst enchantments, but um, it it could it could be better. So um, I'm left with three options. The first, live with it, which uh, normally I, I probably would do that one. Uh, my other option is to. Uh, Oh, what is it? Alright, oh, it's... No. Oh yeah, make another one and, and try enchanting that, so basically end up with two goggles of revealing, one useless that I'll never use, and uh, another one that potentially has good enchantments. Um, and then there's a third option, which is actually what we're going to do. And for that we're going to need the Lexicon Botania, whatever. We're going to be making a spellbinding cloth. Which is a charged ender pearl surrounded by wool. So we need to charge up an ender pearl. Ender pearl, and also need to find some wool. I'm pretty sure I've got some somewhere. Uh, uh, I scanned it earlier. Where is it? Wooly, wooly, wool. Woolity, wooly, wooly. Ah, I even have it my search thing already. Oop. I guess I should say still, not already. Eh, whatever. Ah, there it is. Okay, and so... Ah. Wow, I think that was a one-hit kill. Wow, oh, ooh, we also got one of these bag things, which always seem to give me money and some potions. Some money and some potions. Alright. Alright, you then. You... Surrounded by you... Does it have to be white wool? I guess not any kind of, just any kind of wool will do. That's a bummer. Alright, well let's see how much string we can muster. Uh, so that. Oh, wait. Alright, I think that might actually be enough string here. Need eight. Yes, perfect. All right. See, you spiders are useful after all. Okay, now if I take this and craft it with this, it removes the enchantment, and we're free to try again. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Uh oh. Um. Oops. Got a little too much there. Got a little too much. And there. Perfect. Okay. Please be something good this time. Eh, repair two. Could be better, but uh, it's not bad, I, I suppose. <sighs> well, I'll, uh... Hmm. Maybe another go is in order? 
Although, you know, Repair 2 isn't bad. Um, in fact, I kind of want to let it work its magic before I try to uh, enchant it again. So I'll just sit here and wait for it to be enchanted again. Come on, durability. Uh, maybe it has already repaired and it just hasn't updated for me. Maybe not. Alright, um, hmm. Alright, I'm tired of waiting. Okay, let's try this again. I'm breaking three blast protection. Four. Uh, I'm not going to have any experience left in this tank after this. Repair 2, Respiration 3. I guess that'll have to do. Unless I can muster up another 30 levels here. Which it looks like I can. Alright, we'll try this again. Man, that spellbinding cloth is holding up way better than I was expecting to. Please give me something good this time. Fire Protection 4, Last Stand 2, Soul Bound 1, Aqua Affinity 1. <sighs> Let's try this again. I want Protection 4 and Repair 2. All else is just kind of a bonus at that point. Protection 4, Respiration 3, Last Stand 2. Ooh, so close. Alright, this is going to be my last chance, probably, as that I've wasted all my experience on this one item. Are you kidding me? No. Just no. No, 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 no. No. And we don't have enough experience, probably, to do another enchantment. Ah, <sighs> well, maybe if I can break some quartz blocks. See, do we have any quartz blocks? We do, in fact, have some quartz blocks. Was this enough? Give me one more enchantment. No, it was not. Okay, hopefully this next try will yield something good. Protection 4, Respiration 3. Well, crap. I guess that's going to have to do for now. Suppose it's not bad, I just, you know, wish it was better. Oh well, I'll probably research something, some better way of handling that later anyway. Okay, so I've been doing some Thoundcraft research, and I'm find my, finding myself running low on air here. So, 
there's a way to get air without having to go out in the field and scanning a whole bunch of different things. And that is we can create ourselves a destruction table. Now the destruction table breaks down uh, blocks and items for their base primal aspects. In this case, I am going to throw in a stack of torches. Now torches, as you can see when I shift over the uh, mouse, it has Lux. Lux is uh, a combination of air and ignis air and ignis uh, uh, things here. So as it breaks down it will give me either air or ignis and apparently it also gives me a lot of nothing. I, I was kind of expecting one per torch but uh, apparently that does not actually happen. That's a tad annoying. Oh well. Still get the aspects and torches are cheap. Okay, so I was doing research at the Thalm thing, and then just on a whim I decided to check this chest to see what sort of loot my pickers have gotten me. And I found this. There's a robot in this chest. A picker robot. Why is there a picker robot in this chest? The only way I can think of that a picker robot would... well, the only reason... I could think of for a picker robot to be in this chest is if it ran out of power which is you know supported by the fact that it has no power and itemized out in the field and a picker robot another one came over picked it up and brought it back this is troubling this means they can itemize out in the wild <sighs> which is really not good so after seeing that I went over ahead and I went over here placed a uh, gate on this and set up so if it got a red zone signal it recalls all the robots. I switched next to it, flipped it, and uh, to recall all the rest of them. You'll notice they aren't here. It, it's been a little bit while. I, I did a bit more research while I waited. So it's probably been, I want to say, 10 minutes or so. And they haven't returned. I have absolutely no idea where my picker robots got not got off to. Uh, now, I noticed this side is green, while this is red. This side is also red. And this is green. Which would suggest that uh, one of them has probably itemized. Or, I don't know. I guess green means nobody's there, so... Yeah, either so one of them has itemized, and the other two are probably still functioning somewhere. But I don't know where that is. I I don't know where they are. This is uh, kind of troubling and weird. And now my guess is that uh, their range is much, much greater than I ever expected, and they're exploring a cave somewhere. Hopefully, if I'm lucky, one of the uh, one of the pickers has the one that fell, and they will both be back soon. And what is that? Okay, that's just a flower. But I have absolutely no idea where where they went off to. Oh, by the way, I guess I should probably explain this angel block that's just kind of floating here. Um, a while ago, when I was trying to recharge my hammer, I placed this here and just kind of sat here out of range of all mobs and just kind of went idle all night. By the way, my hammer is almost completely repaired. Yay! I'm thinking of actually... Uh, you know what? We can actually do that real quick. Right. Let's see... What am I going to need? I need more gold. Uh, this will work. Yes, uh, let's see. Meantime, we can use this. Uh, fashion it into a block. Uh, grab a diamond. Alright. Now, 
take the wall smasher, toss it in there. Uh, this, by the way, the pummeler of ore is really, really slow. It takes forever. It feels like even smooth stone is obsidian with this thing, so... I'd rather not use it. So anyway, yes. And uh, adding a gold block with a diamond to this thing gives us an additional modifier. Now unfortunately I can't just simply put another gold block and a diamond in there to get more modifiers. No, unfortunately it's going to be a bit more expensive than that. Uh, let's see... I think... Let's see, apple? I think it doesn't actually specify what kind of... A Ooh. Oh, maybe it does. Oh, um, let me, let me double check the book, because this could be serious, ouch. I might not have enough gold to do this. Uh, smelting, jails new, tinker's weaponry. Uh, I don't think this is it, but, uh, we'll have a look. Nope. Black book, then. Nope. Uh, materials new. Yeah, this is the correct book. Okay. Yeah, so see, this is what we did. The diamond and the gold block gets us an additional modifier. Now, if I want another modifier, going to have to use this, and it looks like it's a notch's apple, and a diamond block. Uh, notch's apples are expensive. Let's see... That'd be... 8 times 9, so that'd be 72 gold ingots that I'll need. Uh, do we have any more gold in here? Gold, 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 gold. Oh, I do, in fact, have more gold. Sweet, okay, I could probably do this. Okay. Ah, what? Did I just get stuck on something? That was weird. Alright. So. Oh, I forgot I already had eight in there. Okay, so you make a notches apple. With an apple and eight gold blocks. Gets you a notches apple. Um, let's see, and now we need diamond. To get ourselves a diamond block. This will get us an additional modifier for the hammer. So, hammer, block, apple. Wait, what? Oh, that's the wrong hammer. Whew. Oh, man. There we go. Two modifiers. Good thing I walked. Okay, and now what I'm going to do with those two modifiers is I'm going to put on two more mossy things, which gives us mossy four. Which, in theory, I don't know if it actually works this way but should be four times faster at repairing than Mossy 1, in theory. I don't know if it actually will be, but it should at least be faster and hopefully I'll be able to use the Wall Smasher again. What did I just do with that? There it is. Yes. Hopefully. Note that I have not gone and done any mining since I previously said I wanted this thing to start repairing itself. So, it's been repairing this whole time. <laughs> And it's almost finally finished. Okay, yes. And the robots have still not returned. This is concerning. I, I have no idea what happened to them. Uh, I guess I'll do a little bit more research with Thaumcraft and hopefully they'll show up. Uh, so I was flying around looking for a node, scanning things. And, uh, 
this appeared on my screen, and we apparently have a king slime here. I see no reason why I should let this king slime stay alive. Do, do, do. He seems to be entrapped in water, which is to my advantage. Well, that was... Oh, there's a bunch of little baby slimes. Why isn't my air going down? Okay, there it goes. Bit confusing. King Slime Cutlass. Am I carrying any stuff here? I am. But it appears to be just ink slacks. And my sound is gone, apparently. Alright. Oh, I got a yellow heart. Sweet. We'll do something about that at some point. Okay, so it's been a couple of hours since I last recorded and the pickers still haven't shown up. So I thought I would use Opus here to try to find them. Maybe they were stuck somewhere in a cave or something and they don't appear to be on the list. So I guess they itemized a long time ago and have long been lost to me. That's a bummer. It, uh, this also means that the uh, Buildcraft robots are probably not ready for usage, so I probably should not have wasted so much, so much redstone. Let's see how many crystals did I have? I have 13 there, another six here. <laughs> I, I probably shouldn't have just gone all that. Is there another use for these things? I, I, I guess I could burn them in this cantonation to get some ash. I don't think I will, though. Well, maybe there's some other robots that has some use, or maybe if I limit the range, they'll be useful or something. I don't know. I'll experiment with them again later. Yeah, so that's a bit of a bummer. Those two are still green, and these two are red. Alrighty then. Okay. So, I just realized I have enough resources to do something that I kind of want to do. And that is, I want to make a resonant jetpack. One of these things. So, I've already started making some of the materials off camera that uh, we've kind of already made. Except for the destabilized redstone and the... Uh, resonant ender buckets. Uh, you get the destabilized redstone by throwing uh, 10 redstone into the magma crucible, pumping it into the fluid transposer, which puts it in a bucket. And the uh, resonant ender buckets you get by throwing in four uh, ender pearls into the magma crucible, which melts it down, and then you use the fluid transposer to put it in buckets. Alright, so... What we need to do first is make these resonant thrusters. Uh, for this, we're going to need this. Let's see, do I... Yes, sweet. already have the stuff right for that. Okay, and we need these. Oh, which means we're going to need to start making that. Alright, so how do we make those? Uh... Andorium blends, which is this stuff inside of an ender bucket or with an ender bucket. So, tin dust, shiny silver dust, or shiny metal dust, and silver dust. Well, let's see how many bucks we got here. Okay, uh... Okay, how do I get shiny metal dust? Shiny metal ore? I don't think I've ever encountered that. Um... 10% chance when grinding a ferrous ore. 
So, how much Ferris ore do I have? Oh dear, I might not have enough. I'm tempted to think that this was the same hang up I had last go around. Just did not have enough. Okay, so. Ferris ore. Am I sure that that's the only stack I've got? Because that was kind of far down. See fair fair too many R's. Ah oh, yes, that was my only stack of Ferris ore, okay. So unless we can get seven things of shiny metal out of this, um uh, I I this whole plan just kind of um backfires on me. Crap. <laughs> I wonder, uh, what else can I do with this? Uh, I can throw it into the uh, sm alloy smelter thing with the, uh, the appropriate metals, so I can't get out of that. Well, drat. Uh, well, we have four there. Four is good. Four is pretty good. But we need seven. One for every bucket. And now for the moment of truth. Oh, one short. Oh, that, that, that sucks. Yeah, that, that really sucks. Well, whatever, we'll make what we got. I need some tin, tin, and the other one was silver, 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 silver. Cost oh, some silver, some tin. Um, jet. Boop, 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 boop. 24, I suppose that's not too bad. Alright, now we need to turn these into ingots. Oh. Oh, I hit R. Use. Okay, according to this, I uh, need one pyrothium dust for every two uh, of these of electrum blend. But you know, I have an idea. Probably use thermal expansion to create ingots. Yeah, we can. Without the pyrothium dust. So I am going to go toss that into the thing here. Okay, all the dust is now smelted into molten endurium. Let's start making ingots out of it. And durium ingot, perfect. And I don't have to use all the uh, pyrothium, I don't have to create a whole bunch of pyrothium dust, which is great, because it uses materials that I don't have a whole lot of, like sulfur. Okay, that's the last of the ingots. I'm gonna weigh this. Alright. And toss this in here. Perfect. Okay, now. Excuse me. Now we need to make some resonant tubes here. One, two. Perfect. And now. I think we're ready for it all to come together. No? What am I missing? <sighs> One, two. One, two. Alright. Now, ready for it all to come together. Sweet. 
Okay, and now for you. Oh, right, we need some pyrothium dust, so we need to grind. Wait. Oh, wrong one. We need to grind up some coal. Drat. Okay, so one coal block. Pulverize. One sulfur. There we go. Boop. Boop. And what's this we're going to require? Uh, redstone and blaze powder. Uh, let's see. I'm pretty sure I have some blaze powder just lying about here somewhere. Uh, there we go. Boop. Oh, that got me too. Oh, wow. That... I thought that would only get me one. Okay. It's a bit cheaper than I thought it was. Okay. And resonant flux. Resonant flux. Um. 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 Where did my flux capacitor go? Toss it here by accident. Flux. There it is. There we go. Resonant flux capacitor. Yet. All right. Which means we are ready to assemble this thing here now. Or would be if I was not wearing this. There we go. Uh, you know what? I'm gonna do this manually. I don't want to lose the energy that I already have in there. Alright, that there, that there, that there, and these on the side. Gets us a resonant jetpack. And, unfortunately, we are two Endorium ingots short of being able to put armor on this thing. Which I believe would be the equivalent of diamond. Uh, but, basically it's made like this. Uh, ten Endorium ingots. And the Invar armor plating inside the induction smelter. Gets us this, which is, I believe, the equivalent of diamond armor, as I've already said. I'm pretty sure I cannot do this. Yeah, no, it has to be that. Which means until I get two additional, until I get two additional ingots, this is not going to give me any armor whatsoever, which is going to suck. Suck noodles. Need the armor. Ah. Okay. Um. Hmm. I don't really want to go mining because, well, my chest here is full, but I suppose I could just make another chest. Uh, uh. Alright, I'm going to go mining and just make myself another diamond chest to fill up. And I'll probably f make this uh, in between episodes, because I think this is probably getting a little lengthy. Uh, so once again, I am KHM, and we'll see you guys in the next episode.